For this problem, let's solve for x in this equation. To remove the fractions on both sides, we want to multiply both sides by both of the denominators. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by x plus 5 and 2x. The x plus 5 on the left side cancel out, and the 2x on the right side cancel out. This leaves us with 12x squared equals 3x squared plus 14x minus 5. To solve for x, we want the right side of the equation to be equal to 0. So we're going to subtract 3x squared plus 14x minus 5 from both sides of the equation, leaving us with 9x squared minus 14x plus 5 is equal to 0. The left side can be factored out to become 9x minus 5 times x minus 1. Now we have the equations 9x minus 5 is equal to 0, and we have x minus 1 equals 0. For the first equation, if we add both sides by 5, we get 9x is equal to 5. If we divide both sides by 9, we get x equals 5 over 9. For the second equation, if we add both sides with 1, we get x equals 1. Now we have to check for extraneous solutions. For a rational equation like this one, an extraneous solution is when one of the denominators is equal to 0. So we're going to create an equation where x plus 5 cannot equal 0. If we subtract both sides by 5, we get x cannot equal negative 5. Then we're going to create an equation where 2x cannot equal 0. If we divide both sides by 2, we get x cannot equal 0. Since neither of our solutions are negative 5 or 0, x equals 5 over 9 and x equals 1 are the final answers.